the topic, as you can see, is love, dating, right person. I felt it's a timely topic for the season because so many young people get into risk behavior, beginning with the digitized risk, and they are not thinking through the process. So the first thing about love, dating, and right person is that they must have clarity before intimacy. Teenage experiences of intimacy, body contact, and going further and further is very damaging. Sexual relationship is the most deep relationship emotionally and even physically. And that has to be preserved for the marriage union once for a lifetime. So how do we encourage our young people when they are before their date that they need to know the purpose of the date? And they need to have a deep experience of covenant love. So the next slide will show us that it is young people will get desires because they are told, we are told it is not good for man to be alone, that he will seek a helper suitable. So after the success of the work realm, the first man began to seek a helper suitable and the two together they get together in order to create after their image and understanding the next generation so that's an important part of the marital uh, relationship therefore the love dating right person choice cannot be divorced from the consequences that must follow to be fruitful to multiply to fill and fulfill all your potential in life. So when two people are looking at each other, it's to find out how much more can we grow together. So it is important to look at the foundation of the one whom you are seeking. If not, the paraphernalia on the surface can look very attractive without looking at the foundation. So again, we uh, emphasize the, emphasize the uh, slogan, clarity first, intimacy much after. You can say this to yourself, you can practice saying this to your kids, clarity first, intimacy much after. I want to, I'm Dr. Lalit Mendes, I have done many, many lectures on the brain screen balance and how every child needs to achieve her his or her curricular potential and i've said again and again for teachers and parents and for kids that you will get a grade in some sub subject god is fair each child has a brain track or a combination of brain tracks that will make them achieve their best potential and even a grade in a given subject some may do it with science and math Others will do it with languages. Some others will do it with arts, crafts, music, drama, uh, fashion, cookery, and so on. So it would be good to think of all these vocational aspects also. Hospitality, uh, when a child is grooming up, certainly when they're going through O-level, they need to know what fields are available to them rather than feeling I failed in this thing that my parents insisted on doing. So that's a different subject. But as we are approaching a very deep subject, it's good to keep the other parallel tracks of the child's own sense of achievement. Yes. Uh, on another broad broadcast, I was just doing a subject about debt exaction, debt extraction. We must never speak the language of not enough. We may have a perfectionist nature that we tell ourselves not enough, that I'm exacting a debt from myself. I can convey that to my children, my spouse. I can convey that in other relationships, not enough, rather than well done, good reward, appreciation. So please keep a check on this debt extraction, debt exaction nature 
that might come into play. Uh, so we want to get on to the slide that explains to us the clarity. Uh, much, much before intimacy. First clarity comes from our own desire. I call it the height. It is important. Impulse is not everything. Impulse alone cannot sustain love. Impulse needs consistency. We need the slides to move to clarity as the height. So that's where it begins. Clarity as the height. The second thing is when you know your heart, it's not only feelings. Feelings are important. What else should accompany feelings? So that feelings will go into your desire. That's okay. We are made with feelings. That feelings, let's say, is the height. Then the second one is the width. Width is what is your immediate community saying about this? Your mom and dad, your uh, true friends, close friends, your spiritual counselors and fellowship people. So you must, the width of the decision, broad basing it, stability of the decision about this person comes from a broader relationship you have already had. If the dating proposition, a person you are looking at is going to isolate you from your present relationships, that's not a good choice. So you must understand you are a uh, sum total of your present relationships and do not enter a relationship that demands isolation from your present relationship. So the width of the relationship coming from your present community and their approval, their opinion, they will give you good understanding of where to meet, where not to meet. Uh, and you, you need a few close friends to have a discussion after your first meeting so that you don't go too far into this without others giving their considered opinion, others who have been close to you. So we want to get into the third aspect of clarity comes from depth. Desire is the height. Uh, the, the community opinion is the width. Can we get to the slide that shows depth of is opportunity? So uh, how well this can work out in the long term, for instance, if you are just make, meeting this person and he's going to be abroad ever after, obviously that is not a good proposition because that's, there's no opportunity for you to grow together. So that the first dimension, uh, uh, we will look at uh, Proverbs, good advice in the Proverbs. Yes, we are looking at here it is. First, consider clarity of desire. It is good to want to be married. In fact, according to God's idea, desire itself is good. It comes at a time when you are ready to marry. You can't think of a dating partner before you are ready to marry. So this would be that you have done your school studies, that you have entered a vocation. That's how the right time comes from dating. Later, we will look at the right person. So he who finds a wife finds a good thing, obtains favor from the Lord. So work on the basis that God will show favor. If it's something that he cannot show favor, then you are on a dangerous track. And it's a dangerous experiment. He, who, an excellent wife who can find, she's far more precious than jewels. So <clears throat> look for excellency, not somehow make do. Let it be a very good fit. Later, we are going to look at the tree example. You have grown as a good tree. Uh, he or she has grown as a good tree. Now this comes, this unique, miraculous experience of the two trees coming together to do better than you could have done by yourself. That's the important thing. So no point sacrificing the good you have attained up to now by uniting with a bad tree whose fruit does not look good at the present moment. So it is good to look for a worthy uh, partner and uh, good 
that that sense of it's a good proposition must be with you. Next slide. So uh, attraction is not enough. Uh, attraction is okay, but you have to balance it with other factors. Yes. This is about attraction. We want to take in God's word also and consider we are looking for God in one another and a, a, a future together in which each grows. Then there's a good term called the kinsman redeemer where the closest friend this one whom you are dating improves you and you improve him or her. So it's from day one, it must be an improvement. Yes, mistakes can happen. Then you watch out for that very important sign, how soon they will say sorry. That will be a lifelong thing. People will make mistakes, but count the time the person will say sorry or whether he or she will put the blame back on you. That's a very important first signpost whether this will work. Next slide. So the first dimension of clarity is our own desire. Do I want to go ahead with this? I'm convinced that my desire pleases God. He wants a relationship like this. Next slide. The second dimension of clarity is how we have contacted our community our close friends, our mom and dad, our spiritual counselors, they all agreeing together so we will not enter into a relationship that estranges us from other valid, vital relationships that have contributed to our life. You can skip some more slides and get to opportunity. Slide on opportunity. Yes, opportunity before that, before that, before that. That's right. So if a situation arises that what you plan did not come through, or there are, uh, for instance, you want to remain in the country and that person is insisting he wants to go to another country, then you uh, consider that that, that the opportunity clarified, circumstances clarified, the two are not meant for each other. So let's move on to uh, the body contact. Let's move on. <clears throat> Men and body. Men and body. Uh, the vessel mentioned here is our body. It is only the outer covering of our true self there are some needs of the inner man that are mentioned. Your body might desire gratification. However, your inner man needs to feel pure and honored. When the body does differently, the inner man cringes and feels distraught. This is a significant thing. You gave in to your body's gratification and pleasure but your real self inside is cringing. You feel dishonored and you condemn yourself. Next slide. That is not a good place to be. So uh, my plea is we teach our children that they do not go after the desire of the body just the way they consume food and junk food. Men can feel uh, like a hypocrite. You know, something to be true and men live condemning themselves over their behavior. Men have an intrinsic need to be honored and that worst thing that could happen is when your inner man starts condemning you because your body defiled and the inner man feels the defilement. These are not old school values. These are everlasting values. That's how we have been made. The body is only the instrument and the servant, a good and obedient servant of your inner self. If our body becomes master, the same applies for money. Money is a useful servant. 
money is a cruel master. Similarly, body is a useful servant, but is a cruel master if you allow your body to dictate terms to you. As far as women are concerned, women feel they are commodity. What happens when a person uses a commodity, they use and put it away. There is, there is an inner need for a woman to feel loved and valued. Man wants honor, a woman needs love and value. When they are made to feel a commodity, it would be very difficult to bear. And she feels wounded, violated, which is not a good place to be in. So in a dating relationship also, you must consider each other. And before entering into that permanent covenant of marriage, witnessed to by God, and relatives and friends on both sides, you must not harm yourself by giving into your rushing of your body. Don't let your body rush. You remember the first axiom? Clarity first, intimacy far later. Please remember that. Next slide. The right person met. That is, you. the person may be right, but the right person myth says that once you meet the right person, everything would be all right. Why is this a myth? Once you find the right person, everything is not going to be all right. You have to develop a relationship. Bad habit would come, right? You think, no, they won't come right. So you assess what, what the, the positive and the negative of the right person. Uh, otherwise, there'll be a struggle with pawn or other demeriting things. You think the right person can fix you? No. You have to work at it. You may think you can fix the right person? No. Develop the relationship. You think there is a, when the relationship fails, you think there's a next right person, which means you have hurried into a permanent relationship without getting the chemistry right and without getting the consensus right. Then you think the right person, it was a wrong right person. Then you be, have this fantasy saying there's going to be a next right person. No, this is a lifetime choice. That first time choice of dating and agreeing is a lifetime choice. It's like that. Otherwise, it will be a string of Many times, the next right person is a myth. The right person that you chose with clarity of desire, clarity of community opinion, and clarity of opportunity, and clarity of foundations meeting together, clarity of two trees meeting together. When you have gone through all that, the right person is ready and right and a relationship to tie the knot to enter into the permanent covenant. So failing in love only requires an impulse. Falling in love only requires an impulse. Staying in love requires much more. We agree on that. So this is the right person. Myth. Next slide. Uh, a good tree does not bear bad fruit, nor does a bad tree bear good fruit. For every tree is known by its own fruit. For men do not gather figs from thorns, nor do they gather grapes from a bramble. Don't judge the other, but improve each other in the relationships. How does the person become bright? In the relationship, as you understand each other, contribute to each other, build up each other, forgive each other, and your foundations meet. Not only what is above the foundation, curves, handsome, Intellect, not only those, the foundations must meet, must meet. That's about character. Next slide. Second myth is just because you promise that everything will be all right, promise must be followed by the preparation. This myth says that if you want a satisfying relationship, all you need to do is to make a promise. A promise replaces the need for preparation. Preparation. That shouldn't be so. Promises are no substitute for preparation. 
in every area we know this is true <clears throat> when you make a promise you must prepare medicine sports economics politics you cannot achieve high grades just because you promise to get good results you have to work at good results little more about the myth too of promise yes promise is a good thing but to be followed by a rigorous preparation for this very earnest promise you made the next slide is yes. when you are accountable but not capable you will be miserable so when you have said yes i do uh, the promise is made you are accountable no cricket coach would allow you to be in the team just because you promised to play well next time you had to put in a lot of practice you have to get over the bad stroke that got you out cheaply you do not promise to win you have to practice to win shall we say together you do not promise to win you have to practice to win uh, so i do means i can i'm willing i'm happy to however i do does not make you capable saying it does not make you capable but makes you accountable so when you are accountable not capable you will be miserable so promise leads you to a time of preparation so your dating is a time of preparation towards that excellent goal mark of the price of a happy fruitful loyal life lasting marriage relationship that's the mark don't pitch it any shot saying there would be a next right person no you have to make this right through relationships and preparation yes next one so we build together on the foundation when looking for a marriage partner what is most important is not the promise but also building the house on a firm foundation so please consider the foundation of each one i think we have gone through uh, enough and one more about the two trees coming together and helping each other to bear fruit and you grow together dig your roots deeper into relationship and your branches in every season bringing forth good fruit and when ball comes up you with the strength of two together you arise above the wall and you grow branches and i want to add to this very um, earnestly if you know the lord jesus as savior and shepherd he will help the differences so much the forgiving factor i told you at the very onset look for this how soon is this person saying sorry when something goes wrong if it takes a long time it's already a mark and if he if, if he doesn't say sorry at all but in turn blames you then you know that's a warning sign that's a character trait so when the savior comes in he forgives he teaches us to forgive he changes our nature and those places where we fall short gone crooked uh, going astray and um, lost the mark so to say he restores that's why there is a savior thank you for listening uh, if you need this uh, what's this slide preparation i can send it to you uh, please send a whatsapp to 0742115011 if you want a counseling session for your children or the parents together you can contact my secretary it's free of cost 0771512 Zero one. Thank you for listening. I trust this helped you.